Hi, my name is Steve Cohn, and as part of my portfolio, I'd like to demonstrate some of the projects I was working on or applications that I've developed as part of my uh, role at uh, Mifflin Hardcore Publishing Company. One of the things that, uh, that I developed a few years ago was the uh, Global Supply Chain Hub. So this entire website <clears throat> was basically created and developed by myself. And I use Visual Studio 2010, which I'm still using. Uh, I use some Visual 2015 as well. So at, uh, anyway, at any rate, this application I'm going to show you, which is DSA, Decision Support Analytics PIT tool, which is Problem Incident Tracking Tool. So this is an internal tracking tool that we built or that I built for our team. And currently we don't have any active issues right now, but you can click on these filters up here. So you can look at everything that's been completed and it shows you everything that's been completed and you have sort capability by date, by individual, by update and so forth and so on. So, I'm going to demonstrate how to actually create a new problem incident tracking, which is called PIT. So let's click on this button here. So it's very simple. You basically have a couple options here to by name and what system went, went uh, awry or we're having a problem with. So let's just pick uh, SQL Server and incident number. The incident number is entered after it gets sent to the service desk. If this is a uh, TG, which is technology group for HMH, if it goes to the TG group, then it'll get an incident number. And so I'll show you how uh, I've automated that process as well. Status, so basically the status to be in work, it's not resolved, and you have several boxes here where you can put information in. So we'll just put in uh, test for now, but test in the comment section. Now, <clears throat> what this does is allows you to save the entry or save and then email to the service desk, which is really handy because it saves a whole step. So I'm going to put test BR problem and I'm just in the body of the email and say test again, test. Now I'm going to go ahead and say save entry and go to email. So save the entry. Now it's flipping over to the email side of it. So here's what's going to be sent to the service desk. It's going to be sent subject. Then the subject will have test problem. And in the body will say test problem. So I'm going to go ahead and email this. I have it mocked up right now where it just comes back to me. So the way I'm able to do this is I harvest the data out of the Active Directory within the total company of Hewitt Mifflin Hardcourt. And I pull that data in every night through a, um, through a script, through a SQL script, and, and update the table. So we have like 7,000 employees or so at HMH. So I have all the employee emails um, and their names and emails. And plus, the way the server's configured, I can pull the name of the uh, individual from the environment. I can pull their name off, off the web server, and then I can use their alias to find out their name. So that's how I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and send this on to the service desk. So it's sent it to the service desk, and now we'll go to Outlook, and we'll check out what Outlook looks like here. So it comes into – so here's what a service desk ticket would look like. It would have gone to the service desk. It would have copied me and our team. And basically it says, please open a ticket for the following, and then the scope of the work would be there. So it automatically sets up a ticket. The service desk would automatically generate an incident number. I'd take that incident number and put it back in to the tracking tool, um, which I could go back here and edit real quick, and i pop it, copy and paste it, and put it in there. So that's how that works. It's pretty slick. Um, so this was a test. We have many in there. We have filters, all tasks, tasks within the last seven days, assigned to past 30 days, so forth and so on. You can export any view out to Excel, so you can have it handy in Excel. 
we have some nice reporting. So I do inception to date reporting here. And these are the problems uh, inception to date or year to date. And this kind of gives you a quick glance at like some of the issues like the BW crystal reports. We seem to be having kind of a problem here. We've had a 20, 123 issues over a span of time. We have a total of 721 failures. So typically we want to look at like what happened in the last seven days. So you have a filter. So it kind of gives you a quick snapshot of, so we have these different systems we've had issues with. We had three with salesforce.com Informatica. And so on any given day, you can hover over this and do a drill in. So as you can see, this little JavaScript has a little pop-up. So you can see you have three here, one there. And that sh shows you kind of how the reporting is done in this tool. So it's a pretty handy little tool. Um, it kind of gives you a good demonstration of what can be done with the uh, Visual Studio and a SQL environment because it's in a SQL database and, a, and um, basically a, a web interface as well. We do a lot of reporting. If I go back to the uh, hub, there's a whole array of reporting and stuff that we've built. And I can go through another project and show you that at, at another time. But so that gives you kind of a nice feel for how some of these applications that I developed really work and how useful they are. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.